what's up everybody I want to do a very quick review of some pencils that I tend to use more so than others I wanted to add something to my little go bag here of various markers and pens and stuff um, and the deciding factor when it came to this is portability the comfort in your hands the amount of supplies that you need to use with them and the cost when I first started off I like using the Standler brands of uh, regular old pencils here they have various uh, levels of the lead there so you can get the real dark 6b down to like the 4h problem with that is you need all these additional supplies of a, a external like eraser um, you need to have a sharpener with you if it ever breaks it's just kind of a pain in the butt to carry because I don't want all these extra supplies with me when I'm just trying to fit something in my small bag here moving on we have this brand which I honestly don't remember if it's a Pentel brand or not um, drawback with this is it has no eraser and it has its own specific lead size so you can't use various kinds of lead with it um, it does have its own built-in sharpener though which is nice but because of these other not having a eraser and specific lead I'm not gonna have that in my bag next up I have this which is a I think it's a Alvin or Allen or I forget what brand this is let's see here yeah I think it's like an Al Alvin come on Chromatic MC5 so it's a nice mechanical pencil it has a decent amount of weight to it it's pretty balanced um, doesn't have an eraser doesn't have a sharpener it has like a little claw tip um, that opens up and allows you to use various sizes of leads the drawback with that is once again the additional supplies you need so you do need to have a, a separate eraser with it you have to have you have to have the specific kind of sharpener that you use with this kind of thing um, there's two little inputs for your lead like the uh, There are basically two different depths that you put the lead into you can say how long the lead piece you want You rotate it on the top and there's a grinder inside and that's how you sharpen it But you do have the option of various kinds of leads you have Colored leads you have the darker leads the lighter leads and you can have all kinds of cool little things that come with it But like I said there's extra supplies don't want to carry all that with me moving right along are my Pentel Graph Gear uh, pencils here. So you have various refill options. I love Pentel because of that. They have a lot of variety, a lot of options for you. So you have refills of erasers, refills of LEDs, you have colored LEDs, you have regular black LEDs. So it came down to these last three pencils. Um, and my deciding factor here, I initially bought this one because I thought I lost my other ones. It's a Graph Gear 500. Um, I like this pencil. It's really light, extremely light. So light, in fact, I fear that I'm gonna break the damn thing. Um, it has an eraser, lead, and all the other options, but it just feels flimsy in my hand. So because of the comfort option, I don't want to really use this, even though it's like a lead body and all that, or a metal body. It's just the design of it for some reason doesn't feel as balanced as I would like, and I'm not gonna use that. So I have my Pentel Twist Erase Click uh, 0 0.7 here. This one is actually, it, it's cheaper out of all the other ones I have, I think. I can post links to everything to be sure. <laughs> I'm not used to using like these click kinds of pencils. When it comes to art supplies, a lot of it just has like the top that clicks, or mechanical pencils I should say. But this one actually, it's cheap. It's like almost purely plastic, so it's extremely light. It has this convenient top that twists with the eraser, which is nice. But the drawback to this one, and you know, is because of that specific eraser, they don't have these large packets of refills that you can purchase. You have to buy like individual ones, which sucks. Um, but anyway, this is might be my go-to actually when I'm on the move, just because you can fill it with lead does have an eraser um, and even though that the end is like solid I don't um, or stationary I should say because it is so cheap I'm not afraid to drop this thing my favorite pencil to use that I might include with my bag if not that one would be this Pentel Graph Gear 1000 it's probably the most expensive out of my other mechanical pencils it has this retractable end piece which is like the major selling point so this little end that you can like clip on the things is actually the release button so pressing the top the end piece comes out 
and the lead comes out. But when you want to put it away, you press that little button in, and it tracks back in. And it's so simple, but it's so convenient, because if I drop this, like, you know, $7 or $8 pencil, it sucks if that tip breaks, then it's over, it's done, it's a paperweight. Um, but yeah, there's all these various options for different color leads. Um, you have multiple refill options, but it's portable, it's comfortable, the weight is actually pretty solid. It's metal, but it's not heavy, it has like little rubber pieces built in there, so it feels real comfortable in the hand. Probably my overall favorite pencil to use, um, but because of the cost, like that makes me hesitant to carry it with me, but this will probably be my favorite go-to, and I might add that to my bag. If not, this other pen tail twist top. So anyway guys, I know that was real quick, but I just want to run through some of my favorite pencils that I use and the drawbacks and benefits of these. Like I said, nice pencils, but they require a lot of additional stuff with them if, any, if, if your lead breaks or gets dull. Nice pencils to use, but they require everything with them. Um, and good pencils to use, portable, have everything already included. In addition to that, I also wanted to shout out this awesome book if you're starting off drawing this is super helpful cartooning for the beginner by christopher hart now i'm not being sponsored by pentel or this guy but i love their products i love this book it's really cool it's actually something that i used when i was doodling trying to think of what to come up for this video it's an example they have for this cat i just kind of used it and made this like weird karate character um but anyway Hopefully that, got, that helps you guys out. I'll put some links in my video. And if you have any questions, be sure to ask away. Just like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Alright guys.